the lab examine internet and SSH in Wireshark. Required resources, CyberOps Workstation Virtual Machine. Then start the CyberOps Workstation Virtual Machine. Username, Analyst, Password, CyberOps. CyberOps Open a terminal and start Wireshark Use this command to the Wireshark dash GTK Password CyberOps Terminal sudo wireshark dash gtk cyber ops okay okay start our wireshark capture on the loopback LO interface Okay, select loop back LO and start Open another terminal window Start telnet session to the local host Enter username analyst and password cyberops Okay, turn that to the local host. Another terminal. And here, turn that local host. Okay, the on IPv6 connection refused. IPv4 enable to connect the remote host connection refuse it. Okay, but on the lab the connected to the local host and enter the username analyst and the password cyberops. And examine the telnet session, the capture on Wireshark. And on part two, examine the SSH session with Wireshark. And capture the Uh, using the SSH uh, local host. Okay, and um, SSH local host. And it's working very well, yes. Password cyber ops. Now, very good. Okay, this is the capture on SSH The Telnet is not working It's not working So So it's not possible to compare Telnet with SSH Okay, and 
close all stop and quit shut down so you you can create your own virtual machine your own cyber ops workstation virtual machine now it's just created here based on ubuntu Okay, enter the cyber ops. Okay, and um, examining a telnet session with Wireshark. Okay, open the terminal. Okay, start Wireshark sudo Wireshark password cyber ops. Okay. Now, start Wireshark Capture on Loopback LO interface. Okay, this is the interface Loopback LO. Double click here. Okay, telnet localhost in another terminal window. Okay, click here and right click new terminal. Okay, and telnet to the localhost. Okay, the username analyst and the password cyberops. Okay, ready. Success. Stop where shark capture. Stop. Examine the telnet session. Apply a filter that only displays telnet related traffic. Enter telnet in the filter field and click apply. Okay, up here. Only Telnet. Enter. Now you have only Telnet capture. Right click on the Telnet lines in the packet list. Section of wire shark and from the drop down list select follow tcp stream okay right click follow tcp stream
The follow TCP stream window displays the data for your telnet session with CyberOps Workstation Virtual Machine. The entire session is displayed in plain text, including your password. Notice that the username that you entered is displayed with duplicate characters. This is caused by the air quotes hitting in the telnet to allow you to view the characters that you type it on the screen. Okay, look at here the the blue text is for the for the server and the red text for the client. Okay, and uh, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Uh, the username is duplicated because the server is you are entering the the username and the server also is showing you the the result okay so that's why it's duplicated but the password is in clear text cyberops and you can see the complete password okay uh, After you have finished uh, reviewing your internet session in the follow TCP stream window, click close, type exit and, and at the terminal to exit the telnet session. Okay, close here and go to the telnet session, then click uh, use the exit command to close the telnet session. Okay, very nice. And now examine an SSH session with Wireshark. You will establish a SSH session with the local host. Wireshark will be used to capture and view the data of this SSH session. Start another Wireshark capture. Okay, and Okay, and um, capture options. Uh, click on loopback LO interface, then start. And continue without saving. Okay, you will establish SSH session with the local host. Use the SSH localhost command and enter yes to connect con to continue connecting. And enter CyberOps when prompted. SSH localhost. Okay, and this SSH localhost. Yes. Password CyberOps. Success. Stop the Wireshark capture. Okay, stop. Apply SSH filter on the Wireshark capture data. Enter SSH in the filter field and then apply. Okay. Here only SSH enter. Right click on the SSH version 2 lines in the bucket list section of Wireshark and in the drop down list select the follow TCP stream option. Okay. Um, here SSH version 2 and then Follow TCP stream, and you will see this. Examine follow TCP stream window on your SSH session. The data has been encrypted and is unreadable. 
compare the data in your SSH session to the data in your, of your alternate session. After examining your SSH session, click close and close Wireshark. Okay, this is unreadable because it's encrypted. Okay. Okay, uh, blue for the server and red for the client, but it's unreadable. Close this, then close Wireshark. Quit without saving, then exit from the SSH session, exit. Okay. Reflection. Why is SSH preferred over Telnet for remote connections? Similar to Telnet, SSH is used to access and execute commands on a remote system. However, SSH protocol allows users to communicate with remote system securely by encrypting their communications. This prevents any sensitive information, such as usernames and passwords, from being captured during the transmission. Thank you very much.